Right guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the 17th ranked NFL player for the year of 2022. Justin Jefferson. A bit of alliteration for you. Nothing beats it. Nothing beats a wee bit of alliteration for you, does it? Justin Jefferson, wide receiver for the Vikings. Been in the league for two short years. He has absolutely balled out. In fact, look, I'm not going to try and quote how many yards he has. But I'm going to say... I'm going to say it's going to be around 2,800 yards over two years. That's his first two seasons in the league. Now, I don't know who has done that. In fact, I don't know if anyone's done that. We're going to have to have a look at that. We will confirm. We'll look at any records he does have. We'll look at his stats, plus more. And, uh, well, there's only one way to start these videos. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's to get into it. Zone Jefferson. He's in the slot. We can't let 18 get loose. It was like, how does this guy keep getting open? <laughs> Fuck, he's got a long stride. He's the real deal for sure. It's got to be, It's. I mean, the release was okay. So rookie year, 53. Second year in the league, 17. Well, we can only imagine what's going to happen next year, but... I'm thinking it's got to be something to do with that long oh, stride. Man, Jet, Jet, he nice. He nice, man. Them LSU boys is a little different right now at receiver, man. Definitely him. You know, he's special, special. Y'all better come over here. Exciting, electric. He's everything you want in the more receiver. Oh! Oh, and he can take the contact, too. I like that. I mean, he's just so slippery, man. Like, his, his route, man, I, I mean, I would describe it as silk. Just kind of like silk, if you just hold silk in the wind and just watch it just blow. Like, like he's like that. that? Every time I see him run a route, the bah, defender is so fast. far away from him. Like, he's an illusion. Easy. He jumped inside of me. How about a oot I already remember. Oh, just a, just a bit of a oot. <laughs> Bit of oos oos, um, couple of steps here, couple of steps there, and he's he's away. Uh, with that in mind, guys, there's only one thing left to do. Let's look at his stats, because I tell you what, he is swift, as swift as silk. Don't know if that makes sense, but I just made it up. Nick Minnett. Justin Jefferson, Justin Joshua Jefferson, would you believe? That's some real alliteration. Six foot one, 195 pounds. LSU from 17 to 19, and I'm led to believe he he won. He did. He was part of LSU's undefeated season in 2019 with Joe Burrow at the helm. Uh, 2020 draft got picked up in the first round with the 22nd pick to the Vikings. He's obviously been there ever since. He's got two second-team All-Pro selections in both 2020 and 2021. Two Pro Bowl selections in both 2020 and 2021. CFP National Champion, 2019. He made the NFL All-Rookie Team in 2020. Uh, what do we got here? So I'm gonna. So he spent he spent three years at LSU. Didn't play. Actually had one rushing attempt for four yards in his first season. Got 54 receptions for 874 yards and six touchdowns in his second season, and came back with a vengeance. 2019. This was the year. This was this was the year that was going to raise those draft stocks, and 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 that's exactly what he did. 111 receptions, 1540 yards. Uh, 18 touchdowns, 18 receiving touchdowns in one year, bringing his career totals to 165 receptions, 2,415 yards, 24 touchdowns, 6 rushing attempts, 30 yards, an average of 6, and a longest of 19. 33 inch arm length, and when we think about Darius Leonard, that was 34 and a half, so I mean it's, it's, it's up there, right? A lot of these guys are going to have long arms, but... Um, Look, when you look at 40-yard dash, 4-4-3, there's no denying that. That's elite. 37.5-inch vertical jump, 10 foot 6 on the broad jump, 19 on the wonder lick. Okay. Now, for once, a guy that we're looking at in these top, you know, top, top 25, top 30 positions has not actually signed a second deal. So he's on a four-year, $13.12 million contract. Obviously, you know, playing that out at the moment, I'd say probably... After this season, they're going to renegotiate that. And I'm going to say he's going to be a... Th he's, I mean... Oh my God, look at these stats. I'm going to say he's going to be a 25 to $30 million man. And with these stats, it could be even more. Look at this. 
Okay, two years in the league, 33 total games, 3,016 receiving yards, 17 receiving touchdowns. We won't worry about his rushing attempts. He's fumbled the ball twice in two seasons. 196 receptions, fumbled the ball twice. That's one in 100. It's not likely. 1,616 receiving yards. Now who... Okay, so who do we... Who did we see before? I think Debo Samuel was on 1,400. Cooper Cup, I'm led to believe, is, is around 1,900. So I'm going to say... I'm going to say Justin Jefferson must have come second with 16-16. We'll check that. We'll check that. Either way, man, what a season. What a season. Ridiculous, really, isn't it? But we will check NFL receiving yards leaders 2021. Let's see what comes up. Well, would you have a look at that? Devon... Uh... No. What have we got here? Hang on. Oh, they're doing it by receptions. My bad. Let's go by yards. And there you go. Cooper Cup, 1947. Justin Jefferson, 1616. Devontae Adams. Sorry, mate. Forgot about you. Probably because we haven't seen you yet. 1553. Jamar Chase, 1455. And Debo Samuel, 1405. And then the first tight end of the list, Mark Andrews, who we saw earlier in the piece with 1361. And the list goes on and on. What a list. What a player. Let's get into this it. This play right here. This is that post right here. Yeah. Rocky step. I think Marlon Humphrey thought he was running an out and went for it. He gave him the step. Oh, that's all she mate. wrote. Mate. Jefferson, he's smooth. Oh, you know, see, that's the... Th I reckon... Okay. Sorry, I am going to start the video, but I think it's not only the long steps, but it's also the ability to step either direction and not lose a single ounce of pace. You know what I mean? See Hopefully we see late. that again, because that was. You know it's too late when Justin Jefferson's oh, no. doing the gritty, oh, no, and you're gritty. walking through the shot. It's the gritty. <laughs> he shattered the NFL record. I don't know what it's about, honestly. In a player's first two seasons but, um, with 3,000. Yeah, he certainly got it down. 261 more than Odell Beckham. Sorry, I missed that. He shattered the NFL record for receiving yards in a player's first two seasons with 3,016. 261 more than Odell oh, Beckham Del. Jr. Wow. Okay. All right, so he's, he's, uh, he's up there. Well, he's at the top. Let's be fair. He could probably score less than 1,000 yards next season and still be at the top after three seasons. So um, I'm not saying that's going to happen. But he's got a bit of leeway. There's not much to him. He's a classic receiver, isn't he? Oh, come on, mate! Oh, the cornerback could have done a wee bit better there. What happened? What happened? He was just in awe of the catch and he slipped over. Oh, he could have absolutely launched him. 170 or something like that. My kid was doing that in the hotel room last night. Jefferson, touchdown! <laughs> what the gritty? I said, we gotta have Justin help you out, man. He got his daddy's rhythm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jefferson just turned 23, and he's already one of the most popular players among fans and fellow players. Jefferson finished the season with 1,616, second best in Vikings history. Ooh. Oh, second best in Vikings history. Now, who could have got more than 1,600 yards for the Vikings? Well, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't find out. Randy Moss. <laughs> well, there we go. You've been mossed, been mossed. One record that Jefferson can almost surely break with a healthy season is the Vikings' single-season receiving mark. It is currently held by Hall of Famer Randy Moss, who caught 111 balls for 1,632 yards in 2003. And Justin got 16-16. Ah! Huh? Yeah, he's really good. How rude. Great body control. How he was the fifth receiver taken in that draft is incredible. You know, I see him on my schedule next year. I got him circled up, so I'm already done did my little game film on you. So be prepared, 1-8. Be ready, you know, ready to lock it in. I'm ready to compete. Bro, you play for the Lions. Actually, no, I think he plays for the Eagles now. Like him and CD. 
Anyways, guys. Oh, what an absolute pleasure. That was so much fun. I don't need to take up any more of your time it's probably been about 10 to 15 minutes of the best um thank you for being here once again head down into the description box below to check out various ways you can support the channel uh, go above and beyond so to speak if not hit the like button comment for the algorithm and i'll see you in the next one peace out